even though they're off campus. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I think it, we're we're getting our feet under us. I think it's a learning curve, you know, not just for uh, you know the uh, student life area here. I mean, it's it's for everybody. But we're we're coming up with some some pretty cool things. Uh, we're gonna have live streams on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, we're going to have uh, workshops, virtual workshops with our counselor and our lead uh, academic advisor, you know, to in case people have, uh, you know, an interest in learning more about mental health things during the pandemic mm-hmm. time, because um, I think that is very important for us to talk about and to teach about, um, which is, you know, we're trying to, to be well uh, to be able to learn and, and to work. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're we're trying to you know engage students as much as we can on on social media as well. So um, uh, the I guess the the newest and one of the things I'm most excited about is we're we've started esports on campus. So it's mm-hmm. it's like a it's intramurals. So if you think of intramurals as you know playing a sport, mm-hmm. uh, this is actually playing um, electronic games. So oh, okay. That's, uh, esports mm-hmm. um so that that's happening this fall as well so we have about three uh gaming things like mario kart if that sounds familiar mm-hmm. uh so we have a platform where students can compete against one another and then uh, uh record their scores so we're, we're trying to still have some competition uh even though we can't uh, compete face to face Yeah, well, it sounds like uh, that's going to be uh, just uh, thinking outside of the box and some fun things for sure, the ones you've mentioned. I want to go back. You mentioned a moment ago 11 clubs that you really oversee with student life. Maybe not to name them all, but just give us an idea. What are some of those clubs on campus? Yes, sir. Um, Our art club is really, really active and involved. Uh, So that consists of, uh, you know, the, the students in the art department and anybody else on campus that has an interest in art. They're an an active club. Uh, We also have our criminal justice club. It's pretty active. They they usually help a big time amount when we have our Halloween festival. They they love getting involved in that. Um, We also have, I mentioned our SGA. They're a part of our club system. Um, We have a history club and a science club. And, uh, you know, we... Most of our clubs, um, they meet monthly, uh, and some even meet weekly. So it, it just depends on, you know, the students that are involved and how much they're they're wanting to be, you know, getting stuff done. I, I think our biggest club on campus at this point is our Mixed Martial Arts Club. Mm. Um, so it's our MMA club, and they learn about um, the Mixed Martial Arts world, and they they uh, practice and learn Taekwondo, and um, I think we have about thirty uh, students in that club, uh, and they they logged over twenty five hundred uh, service hours last year. So, wow. um, so we're we're real pleased with our our clubs on campus and um, our club advisors. That's a a kind of volunteer kind of thing that they have to be an employee on campus. Um, so we're we're grateful for them too, and so we're just really trying to provide a good a good spot, a good home for for all of our students on mm-hmm. campus. If if they don't see a club that they like, they could create their own. Well, it it sounds like there there are already some really good opportunities to get involved for sure. There's a lot going on there. Um, I know there's some things you're you're planning for the future. You've told us a couple of things for the fall, but some things you're working on, some projects maybe you'd like to share with us, Maggie, down the road? Yes, sir. Um, we're actually having our um, blood drive with the Red Cross next Wednesday. And uh, at this point, it's just going to be offered to our employees and our students. But we're, we're hoping to be able to still uh, do that service for our, our communities is to still have host blood drives. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have a couple projects going on on campus uh, we're uh, going to be uh, having a live revealing of a barn quilt that was made um, actually made the made the the wooden part but we had a student that painted uh, one of the barn quilts 
and we're going to put that up on uh, a building on campus. Uh, we also have a awesome little library, the free little libraries that are housed, you know, outside, mm-hmm. and our um, industrial technology program and our art club have kind of teamed up and got an old. Is it, this is the neatest thing? They got an old um, uh, phone booth from here on campus, Mm -hmm. and they have made it into a little free library. Oh, how neat. So, Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. So we we still have a couple couple things to to finalize, but it is up right now. Uh, If anybody wants to swing by and look at it, it is up in front of the library. And uh, so just some final touches. Uh, Some students are going to paint it, and then we'll we'll get some books in there. So those are kind of, you know, we try to, to showcase how how beautiful our campus is and get students involved in projects as much as we can. Mm-hmm. Oh, it sounds like it. Well, as I said, there are lots of opportunities to get involved in, in, in so many different levels there at RCC. Oh, this is great, uh, just getting acquainted with you and what you're doing with the athletic program and with uh, student life. Uh, before we wrap up, anything else you'd like to mention, Maggie? Uh, I just appreciate the opportunity to be on here with you and and to to brag on our school a little bit because it is such a such an awesome place to be and our um, uh, our community. You're you're welcome on campus uh, anytime, and uh, I I appreciate the opportunity and and certainly uh, go Eagles all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, I, I appreciate your passion and your uh, your good work there on campus at RCC in these uh, in these different days that we're experiencing but it sounds like it, you're putting together just great uh, and I appreciate that so it's it's good to talk to you thank you and I, I'm thinking yes, also uh, I have two children they both graduated from Rockingham Community College uh, it's been some years ago now but uh, yeah as we said right in the beginning we're so fortunate to have RCC right here in our county and doing so many good things. So, uh, Maggie, keep up the good work. Yes, sir. I'm going to do my best. Thank you. I know you will. And keep us posted on uh, on how that baseball season uh, launches uh, September 10th as well. We need to – I want to keep better track of that this time around. Yes, sir. That sounds great. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Maggie. Uh, have a good week. You too. Maggie Murray is um, our guest here today on our program, and she is – uh, very involved on campus, as you heard, as, as athletic director and director of student life. Just uh, one member of the team making it happen at Rockingham Community College. You can get more information at their website, and that is rockinghamcc.edu.